Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky Mark. I'm here in the park in the Midlands, UK to take you through this new e-bike I've been sent to review. It's the Himiway Cobra and it's a big bike. It costs two and a half thousand pounds in the UK, but for that you're getting so much for the money. We've got an aluminium frame. We've got these humongous 26 inch wheels with 4.8 inch big fat tires on there. You've got a four linkage suspension with air suspension at the back and suspension forks at the front. Coupled with the fat tires, this is an ultra smooth ride. Great for cruising. You can basically cruise over anything on this thing. The e-bike itself, the electric motor is in the hub here and that's got a huge amount of torque. It's around eight, 750 watts or 86 Newton meters of turning power and the battery is humongous. You've got Samsung cells in there, 960 watt hours of storage. That is gonna take you up to 80 mile range on this thing. You can cruise around the UK. I'm gonna take you through all the specs, what you get for your 2.5K, and then we'll take it for a spin around the park and I'll let you know my verdict on whether you should be getting one of these bad boys. Let's dig into it. Right, let's take you through the key specifications of the Himiway Cobra. Let's start with the handlebars. I'm gonna be filming this as I talk to the camera. So don't worry about the phone, it's just to show a close up view of what we're looking at. So let's look at the handlebars here. We've got sh nice uh, brakes on this bike. 180 millimeter rotors, disc brakes, and these are hydraulic brakes, none of this mechanical disc brake. Uh, nice levers here, big fat bar grips. It really is a cruiser kind of bike, this. You've got the display here for the e-bike section. And you've got a seven gear Shimano shifters here. So there's only one cog on this bike at the front. It's a 44 tooth wheel with the seven cogs at the back. You've got the hub motor here. It's Himiway's own motor, hub motor. 750 watt uh, peak power, 86 Newton meters. And it's inside this massive massive tire 4.8 inch tire 26 inch wheels so fairly small wheels but with those massive tires this has a lot of give and take on here and um, coupled with the suspension which we'll talk about in a minute that is fabulous it's like riding a sofa around um, on the handlebars over here we have the little control system for the display and this is where you can turn on the power you just hold down the button screen powers up now you've got five levels of power assist here with the plus and minus here so you can literally just up it to level five it shows your battery shows your speed in kilometers per hour at the moment but you can change that to miles per hour and then you've got the total distance ridden if you click this i button here you can skip through what the display shows you like current trip distance etc um, in the UK, this is limited to 15.5 miles an hour top speed. There are ways of uh, sort of de-restricting the bike, but we don't recommend doing that and it will invalidate your warranty. We also have a thumb throttle here. So really nice. If you click that, the bike starts going off. So you don't actually have to pedal. But in the UK, that is throttled. The throttle is throttled at around five kilometers an hour. So you can't go very fast with the throttle. Um, but it's quite nice just to get moving. If you can't pedal on a steep hill, you just pop your thumb down on the throttle and it'll get going and then you start pedaling. Once you're pedaling, the power kicks in after about one revolution or half a revolution or so, and it's like a wave of power pushing you. As I say, it's quite a meaty motor here. 750 watts, 86 Newton meters of torque. So that's a really high power um, motor, uh, but you need it. This is a heavy bike. It's around 39 kilograms, 88 pounds in the US. And that's primarily because of the huge uh, battery here. Samsung cells, it is removable. You just undo this clip at the back and the battery comes out. You can charge it away from the bike or you can just plug it in. There's a little rubber cover down here and you undo that and plug into that. So the battery is 960 watt hours, um, 48 volt system this. So that's why you're getting such nice torque, high voltage. 
960 watt hours is humongous. My Trek Rail 7 bike is around 630 watt hours. So this is another third on top, well, another half on that, 50% more. So this has got a range up to around 80 miles, which is phenomenal. You can literally take this bike around and cruise around your county. Uh, it's that sort of range in a day. What I can't really get over is the price of this thing. It's two and a half thousand pounds. And you know, my Trek rail was about five and a half thousand. And yeah, that's lighter. It's about 24 kilograms. This is a beast at 39, but you're not riding it for lightweight riding. This is a cruiser and it does the job fantastically. We'll show you soon. What else have we got? Well, you may have noticed the suspension here. And again, this is meaty, big, lump of metal here and that adds to the weight but it also gives you sort of peace of mind and security that this thing isn't going to fall apart when you just ride over a few bumps or whatever we've got air fork here at the back so that's an exa form exa air ride suspension uh, suspension there and then we've got sort of cranks here into this module down below which has got some sensing to activate the hub motor down in the bottom bracket here. This four pivot um, suspension piece here is, works really well actually. And you don't get any bobbling of the back wheel. It just is smooth, coupled with these fat tires as well. It really is like you're on a hovercraft, a nice smooth ride. It's got a big old saddle. Again, it's that cruiser feel. It's like a Harley Davidson or something. I mean, you really feel like you're sat on a motorbike with this thing and with these bar grips. Yeah, it's a nice feeling, actually. It's a big difference to my Trek Rail. Uh, I'm not sure I would do some big single track on this. It's more for the wide open paths and roads. And um, yeah, very enjoyable to ride around. Uh, Himiway send the bike with lights for the front and back. I've only put the front one on at the moment, but this is activated from the module up here. There's a little hand headlight sign there, and if you hold that down, so there's the light, just press it on and off. The brakes work really well, 180 millimeter rotors, as I said, and you need proper disc brakes on a bike like this, especially in the wet. With that amount of weight, 39 kilos, you need good stopping power, and these, these brakes, these hydraulic disc brakes work really well. Gear system, very simple. Shimano shifters, Shimano gear. I think it's the Dior set. And yeah, it works really simply. You don't really need gears with this amount of torque, but on a steep hill, you might want to shift it down to gear two or three, maybe sometimes even one if it's really steep. Just keep pedaling, and this thing will just take you to the top of the hill without you know, breaking too much sweat. Although if you want more of a workout, you can just turn the power assist down and then pedal more. So that's why I like e-bikes. They're pretty flexible. If you want exercise, you can get it. If you've had enough and you just want to coast home, you can do that too. So people sometimes say, oh, it's cheating to ride an e-bike, but this bike's all about pleasure and enjoying yourself. I think people take things too seriously and I just think this is great. Right. I think that's about it for the main features of the Himiway Cobra. As I probably didn't mention, but it looks like a carbon fiber effect on the frame, but it is actually aluminium. So that's nice as well. It's not carbon fiber. You need the strength of aluminium, I think. I'm sure carbon would be fine, um, but aluminium is perfectly serviceable for a bike like this. On the back, you've got, um, you've got little bracket holes in this uh, back section here so you can put on a rack and have panniers at the back if you want to you could also put on mug guards as well front and back if required I haven't got it I'm not too worried uh, there's a kickstand down here which is nice that comes with the bike uh, the pedals are just flat jobbies you can put your own on if you want just standard flats and perfectly serviceable you don't really need clipped in pedals for a bike like this. It's just nice and easy. Actually, the gear system is Shimano Altus, not Dior, so I got that wrong. Uh, but it is a seven speed system. Right, I think we're gonna 
power this up and then go for a ride around and tell you how it feels. Let's do it. Okay, we've switched to 360 degree camera now. We're in power mode five. Let's use the thumb throttle to go. And, uh, hello. Hold it in, off we go, moving. You can see the camera shadowed here. But look, this bike, it's just a joy to ride actually. I mean, the suspension coupled with these tires, it's beautiful, it'll just go over anything. The motor's not too loud, there's no major rattles. If you jump a bit, uh, it doesn't make much noise. Let's see if these dogs attack. I've been attacked a few times today. You can't beat the UK when the sun is shining. It's uh, a joy to be out today. Beautiful. In the month of April now, 2023. Right, so try and get some speed up. So shifting gears, I'm in gear one at the moment. So the lowest gear, easiest to pedal. But if we want more speed, you can just shift up, effortless. We can build up more speed now because the gears are higher. So that's gear four. Let's get it into gear five now. Wow. I can put more leg power in if I want to, as much as I like, just keep pedaling. And this nice big seat. Really easy just to pedal away and enjoy the day. So Himi Wei say you can charge this bike up a thousand times and you'll still have 80% of the battery capacity left. You know, that's a lot of charging and discharging. I don't see any problem with this in terms of the battery degrading. You know, if you're riding it every day with a full charge, discharge, yeah, okay. Might have a 10 year lifetime, but Himi Wei will sell replacement batteries. It's not gonna be a problem to source batteries after 10 years or something, uh, if you've still got the bike. Now where were we? Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. Or whatever comes my way. I'm only make it happen. Flying out into space. Born to be wild. Let's have a look at the motor. Motor in the rear wheel here. Tight turn with one hand. Yeah, there's a bit of a hum from the motor, but it's not that intrusive actually. This really is a joyful bike for the money. I, I really rate it very highly indeed. I guess the main consideration of this bike ooh, is the weight. 39 kilograms, very heavy, difficult to lift. In fact, I'll, when I'm summing up, I'll have an attempt to lift it up. Um, and it is a consideration for bike racks too. So we've got a Thule VeloSpace XT3 bike rack for our Mercedes Marco Polo camper van. And I think that's a 60 kilogram weight limit. So you could probably just take this bike and maybe one other um, non-e-bike bike on that massive bike rack. I doubt you could carry two of these on any bike rack available in the UK for tow ball mounting on your car or camper van. So if, if you've both got one of these, it may be a struggle to transport it on a bike rack. But that's something you'd need to investigate. And uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure of the situation in terms of really heavy duty bike racks. Into the woods. And the great thing with these tires is that you can just really just go where your heart tells you to go. I, I love that, that you can just ride for riding's sake and just, you know, 
If you want to go in the woods, you go in the woods. I can't believe it's going to get punctures very easily with these massive tires. But I'm thinking of putting some, um, some of that sealant into the tires um, to avoid punctures. Um, they're not run flats, I don't think, but I need to check that. Perhaps they are. Um, but you can get that slime that goes inside the tire and it just helps if you're getting rose thorns or sticks or needles uh, for punctures. I think it's good to try and prevent punctures where possible, obviously. So I've been testing the Himiway Cobra for around a month now in all sorts of conditions from sunshine like today through streams and rivers and I've been out when it's bucketing down. What do I make of it? I think it's absolutely fantastic value for money. Two and a half thousand pounds is a bargain for something of this size and quality. You know, just the battery alone, 960 watt hours of Samsung cells, 750 watt motor, you know, hydraulic discs front and back, a good turn of pace. Yes, it's heavy. It's 39 kilograms. So lifting it, let's give it a go. You know, you can lift it fairly easily, but you know, not over long distances. And you will have to watch for a bike rack that can take the weight, especially if you've got two of them. I think you may struggle, but one is fine, I, I think. These big, fat 4.8 inch tires, they're not gonna fit on a standard rack either. So you're gonna need probably a wider channel on the bike rack to hold this thing. But it's so much fun. As I said before, with the suspension, front and rear, and the fat tires, it's a joy to ride. It literally is like riding an armchair around. You point it where you wanna go, and it just goes there. Um, the pedal assist works well, the power kicks in. I do like the little, little throttle that you've got just to get going. You can't throttle up to 20 miles an hour or anything. There may be a way of de-restricting it to do that, but I haven't found it yet and I probably won't de-restrict anyway because it invalidates the warranty in the UK. So you don't really want to be doing that. But to be honest, 15 and a half miles an hour top speed is plenty for me, just poodling around. I really like it. It comes with the lights. There's only one size frame and that sort of is for everyone. From five foot three tall up to six foot five, you can just raise this quick release up and down, saddle up and down. So it'll fit any size. So my daughter can ride this. You know, you may have to watch it with the weight, but you know, once you're going on this, you don't feel the weight. It is, the motor takes it away really effectively. I do like the fact that the battery comes out. You can charge it away from the bike and it comes with the charger, of course. And I like that there's mounting plates for a pannier, rack and pannier on the back and mug guards, etc. The lights come with it can activate them from the control panel. So it's all powered off the battery. Overall, I cannot fault this bike. I think it's absolutely brilliant for the money. So I would totally give it thumbs up. Um, if you're thinking of buying something like this for a bit of fun or to commute to work or whatever, I wouldn't hesitate to get Himi Way. Fantastic bike. Thumbs up from us. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Uh, please like and subscribe. We'll be doing plenty more videos for camping related, outdoorsy stuff, equipment reviews, etc. Check out Himiway. They've got a wide range of bikes. This is the Cobra, but they've got some others. There'll be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I've been Marky Mark. Bye for now.